Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna and I am a fourth year, third grade teacher in North Carolina. I thought it would be really fun to do something different since I can't get into my classroom for the next few days. If you're not sure why, you should be following me on Instagram because I keep you guys updated there. They've been doing some intense cleaning, so can't get in till Monday. Classroom setup is on hold, but shopping is not. And I thought I would bring you all along with me as I go to Target, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. I think those are the stores I'll be hitting up today. So many of you have been sending me different donut things, especially in Hobby Lobby, and I haven't been over there yet, so no time like the present we are going to go and i'm going to bring you guys with me so make sure you are subscribed before we go any further and once you hit that button then the video will continue thanks also if you haven't seen my classroom setup series playlist will be linked right here so go ahead and click on that and see what i've already done in my classroom this summer all right, let's go. do with these <laughs> I love it not for $11.99 each though of course I saw a bunch of cute donut things but I'm not really going to like buy a bunch of ornaments or anything and like hang them from my ceiling or something so I didn't get anything for my classroom but I did end up getting stuff for my apartment since now I'm a single lady and live alone so I thought I'd spice it up a bit. I got this sign that says turn off your straightener. Thought it was super cute for my bathroom. I don't straighten my hair that much, I kind of curl it more, but you know, same concept. And it's like a little chalkboard. And then I got this sign that says top knots and espresso shots. And I thought that was perfect. Oh my goodness, you can't see it though. It's like blue and pink. It's super like simple. I love the font and things. This will probably go in my kitchen, but I do drink, I mean, cold brew, so that's espresso, and I love throwing my hair up. So it's just me, and I love the, 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 I love the design, and you know, I gotta do some things for myself. So it was like $15 altogether because they were 50% off or one was 50% off and then I used the 40% off coupon on the other. So now we're gonna check out Dollar Tree because I forgot there's one right here. So let's go. Dollar Tree for like the little things that most teachers would say you don't need for your classroom but teachers on Instagram and YouTube would say you need it <laughs> so I was showing you guys the little containers that come in a 10 pack I use these for dice and last year I started using them for counters and they are amazing um, I have a ton of them however a lot of them are cracked and it's only a dollar for 10 clean new ones and I haven't had the round ones so I got the round ones and I thought I could put the counters in these because they would fit them better and then use the square ones for dice so these are usually on a little um, random hanging thing like I showed you guys 
And then I ended up getting two of these index cards on rings because, first of all, there's this little, oh, yeah, you can slide in a little title in the front. Then there's three different dividers that you can snap out like a planner and put in wherever you need. And then on the note cards, I'm planning to do something like Jen Jones does where she talks about in the beginning of guided reading, you need that like three minutes of fluency practice. So I'm going to put third grade sight words on these and then eventually move to phrases. And what you're supposed to do is flip through the cards and she says flip down because it's easier so like you say the word and the child says the word that way they can just have that memorization of a sight word you know like you see it and you know what that word is so that's what I'm going to put on here like when when school school at at <laughs> Um, and then with the dividers, I can either like put, move a divider where we got to that day or move to a divider where I want to stop or have different sections of different things. So I got a pink one and an orange one. And then lastly, I got ranch sunflower seeds just because. All right, on to Michael's. Totally just got that clip sticking my camera out of my sunroof. When you walk in and all the boardette and bulletin board paper is gone. These are my favorite bins. Short in the back, tall in the front, super wide. Target Dollar Spot has them for cheaper though. And they have this weird green color that's not yellow. Darn. Guys, for the carts, they now have a cart topper in white and wood. It's kind of cool, but not gonna spend $20. This is amazing, but not for $1.99 each. I don't know what I would do with it. The only thing I ended up picking up there was the teal bordet. I think, where? Azul. You guys haven't seen this yet in my setup vlogs, but I have been using some of this. I'm really sorry, Target is difficult to film in because there's literally employees everywhere and the dollar section is right up front and everybody walks through it. But I found the most amazing things. I'm so excited. First of all, I always pick up yellow bins. Really, dude? Why do you gotta pull up next to me and be awkward? Okay, so now that I'm alone, I always grab yellow bins when I see them. I don't know, I have a few in my back, back seat too. I have three back there. I think I got four another time, so I might have a lot, but I'll just return them when I see how many I need because I'm using these to replace my old red bins. Then, look at how cute this is. A sprinkle tray, and this was in the dollar section. Um, I'm thinking I might put this like under my pencil sharpener because it always leaves gross things everywhere and then this will just be easy to clean. But so super cute. Crazy man driving through the parking lot. Going along with the sprinkles, I saw this sprinkle banner. I don't know if I'm going to use it, like I said. Might return it, but thought I might as well grab it because it's super cute and brings in my theme without being too like donut overpowering. I picked up my foundation that I've been loving. I haven't purchased new foundation in a really, really long time. I've been using up all my old stuff and I just love how the one I've been wearing has been holding up. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect. And I just got one shade lighter because my other one was really orange. So this is 02A Creamy Natural. And then the L'Oreal Infallible Set Setting Spray. Super expensive, but super amazing they have these like dry erase stickers and I thought this would be neat to put on the back of some of my clipboards to use during like small group or different activities just in case we're like writing one word or I don't know sentence strips and then there was also 
these math ones and there was only one pack of these but this is awesome 10 frames are super helpful when you're decomposing a 10 into ones there's a number line on here and then on the back well other stickers have the 120 chart which is amazing i'm totally gonna go to my target and see if i can get another pack of these because there's only four of each in here and since it's a dry erase hundreds chart that's just really 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 helpful so those are cool tools and then i saw this it's a sundial kit so like do you put this together and then the shadow tells you what time it is because we talk about shadows in science. So I picked that up because I'm like, that's super neat. Like you see how it relates to the clock. And I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So fun. That is all I got. But I got a little hungry. All right guys, so as you could see, I am home now trying to enjoy my chipotle let me know what you thought of this shop with me video i've never done something like this before but i had a lot of fun and i found a lot of good stuff so thanks for coming along with me today make sure you are subscribed to my channel so when my new classroom setup video comes out you won't miss it and let me know down below are you a guac or a queso person I like one thing in particular and I don't like the other. Maybe you can guess what it is. All right, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching, bye.